Hi guys, Maya with Simply Bloom. Welcome back to my garden, I guess you could say. Um, I am standing kind of directly under an oak tree. I have a big oak tree that stretches all the way up there. So I planted up under my oak tree and when I first originally started planting, there was a massive storm coming. I could see it in the distance, I could hear it, thunder, lightning and i chose that particular moment to come start planting <laughs> these plants so i was racing against the storm i didn't even talk or anything i think i might have said like a hello i'm gonna plant goodbye type of thing and then i just started planting hi guys good morning we are about to get down poured on like two to three inches that's a big difference i feel like but the weather app says two to three inches of rain expected today in the next 24 hours and it's supposed to start anytime so i'm just gonna set you guys up get to planting here we go so let me kind of show you the clips that I got planting. I apologize, they're not super good angles because I was racing against the storm. We ended up getting three inches of rain in 12 hours. So that kind of goes to show what type of storm that we had. Um, so let me show you the planting and then I will give you the tour. Okay, this is, there's my daughter. This is um, what it is. So you can see the bed. I have our two propane tanks there. I wish they weren't there, but gotta stay warm. So this is our beautiful oak tree. There are some dead branches. Um, we need to have someone come out and trim them. Um, my husband wants to do it himself. <laughs> I don't know, they kind of scare me. So we'll see. We'll see if he does it or if he, we get someone else to do them. Um, but here it is. I love it. I absolutely love it. So here's the oak tree and it's flanked by two Nishiki willows. I apologize if I did not say that properly. Um, and then it's just, we got some hostas, bleeding hearts, hookara, and caladiums. I don't know why I keep giving this hosta water and it always looks like it's wilting to me. So I don't know if that's just kind of transplant shock but it's been planted for several weeks now um it took me a while to <laughs> finish mulching and everything like that but as you saw in the, the video I, I planted all the plants first and then i took cardboard and put it around the plants just for an extra weed barrier if you've watched my other videos you know i do not like landscape fabric it's a pain in the rear end but with this particular bed, um, we did uh, do our best to remove the sod, but I know I didn't get all of it. Um, so I wanted a, a weed barrier. So I put cardboard down to kind of help suppress the weeds for the first little bit. And then over the next year or two, the cardboard will break down and disintegrate. So that's fabulous. So then it makes it really easy to plant other things in here if I choose. So I'm just going to begin with the plants. Like I said here, there's two Nishiki, 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 oh, I don't know. 
So here's the willow. I love it because it has like these um, variegated leaves. And actually what happens is they turn a slight pink color and it is beautiful. It did kind of drop some of its leaves when it was first planted, but you can see it pushing new growth. So that's what it looks like. You can kind of see the pink in the picture just a little bit. Uh, Haruku Nishiki Willow. I apologize if I just butchered the name, but um, it gets five feet tall, five feet wide, hardiness down to 30 below. This is technically advertised for a zone four. Um, we live in a zone three, um, but it does survive here. So there's that. Here I have drinking gourd hosta i have hookara i would take somewhere in here this is a palace purple hookara and then i have a guacamole hosta i love that hosta i just don't know why it's drooping all the time because i've been watering it lots of water here is a restless heart caladium caladium and i have four of these so one two three Four, and it just gives it that pop of color that it really needs over here. Here's another drinking gourd hosta, and I love it. <laughs> I caught something. So the leaves actually kind of curl up. You can see um, like a little cup, and it's so cool because it catches the water. Love those. Here is a bleeding heart. I can't remember. There's not a tag. I will leave it linked down below. I did a plant haul of all of these hostas um so some of these i can't remember the names but go back you can go back look at the plant haul i go through all the names of all of these hostas and perennials that i planted in this garden so i'll leave that link down below but it's a beautiful bleeding heart has kind of pink flowers here is a hosta another hosta here let's see this one has a tag it is forbidden fruit so i love that love that kind of dark green outside and yellow inside of the f of the i almost call it a feather of the leaves oh you guys look at this i love this hookura this one is from proven winners this is the black pearl hookura or, or coral bell from proven winners this i believe is the patriot Patriot Hosta. Yes, love that. Here is another drinking gourd. I put a lot of those in. I must really like those. And another, I believe this is a forbidden fruit. Yes, forbidden fruit Hosta. And this is the same hookah that was on the other side, the Purple Palace. Love those. So, another willow. And now we're kind of wrapping onto the back side. I do not have any caladiums back here. I would love to get enough to kind of like move all around the back, but I didn't have enough for that. And we don't really come back here that, that often. So I didn't put those. I just put them in the front. Now I have some holes here and I know that these are going to get massive, but I feel like it needs something right there. Okay, here is a baby drinking gourd. And it will get big, but right now it's just a baby. I cannot remember what this one is. Again, watch, watch my plant haul. I'll leave it linked in the description box below. You can check it out. Here's the Purple Palace. Hookara, a forbidden fruit. This one, I never know how to pronounce, but I will leave the name down below. It is just about to bloom. Here is another bleeding heart. I actually took this one. This is a little baby sucker that came up from my other bleeding heart next to the house. And I just kind of dug it up and planted it. It looks like it kind of suffered just a little bit, <laughs> but I think it is still alive. I see some green. So hopefully, hopefully that pulls through. Here's another black pearl. Love those. Oh, look it. There's a little bee fly. Oops, and it just flew away. But love those. Look at that. Love. 
Here is another Patriot Hosta, another guacamole Hosta, and this one is wilty too. It's the only guacamole, the guacamole Hostas are the only ones that are wilting, so I'm not quite sure what that is about. Okay, another forbidden fruit. I guess I had four forbidden fruits. I don't remember that, but there is another one. Another Hookara, the black, no, purple palace. And then this last, last one, which again, I cannot seem to find a tag. Can't remember. I'll see if I can try to find the name. And here is that other willow. So that is everything that I planted in the space. Some of them are super duper really tiny, but they will grow and fill in beautifully. I cannot wait to see how the space grows and fills. I do plan on saving the caladiums. So stay tuned, I'll show you how to dig the caladium bulbs up this fall so I can overwinter them in the house and then plant them back out next spring. So thank you so much for watching. Please follow along to see how this space fills in. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.